Hi everyone. Sorry, I gotta fix that camera. Okay. So sorry I'm late. So much going on today. Oh, it's always running, 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 right? Okay, I'm gonna really quickly send this over to my VIP group. If you are not a top store designer and you would love to be in the VIP group, please comment VIP below. Alright. Today is the 14th, 2023. It's crazy. This month is going by so fast. So today we are going to talk about Club. Club Couture is our subscription box that is absolutely amazing. It comes in a kit just like this and you will get your transfer. You will get your add-on and you will get paste singles. You also get a squeegee and it comes to you, you get billed on the 5th of the month and it will be sent to you. So I love this month's club. It is so cute. It's a snowman. We've done it already once. Let me see if I can find that one that we did. Oh, he's behind me. He's right there behind me. I just did him in bright white. Super adorable. We are going to do this in, we're actually going to do the snowman in full, in, um, oh my goodness, in red. We're going to do it in cherry. And we are going to do the background in white. So we are going to get started. Now, like I said, it is a subscription box. There is a three month minimum commitment. You get special flat rate shipping as a club member. You get special deals as a club member. There's so many perks to being a club member. There is the transfer. That's exactly what we did in bright white. Now, I have um, this gorgeous little snowman that we're gonna do. We're gonna put him, we're just gonna do him in the cherry. So everything's gonna be done in cherry red, which is one of our on vogue colors. Everything else is gonna be done in white. And we're using the Verity frame. So if you don't know what our Verity frame is, it is kind of like our Aiden, it's just a little bit more fancy. And it also is magnetic. So there's different frames that you can choose that are magnetic. We have our Aiden, we have our Verity, and we have our London. They are all magnetic. Now, if you don't want to use a magnetic frame and you would rather use a, something else like a box frame, which are on sale right now, you absolutely can just put maybe a command strip on the back. I use these ones that are Velcro because then I can remove them, I can move them around, and you can stick it on the surface that way. So there's lots of options, lots and lots of things to do. So we are going to get started. I'm trying to clean up my mess from yesterday. I have a mess just everywhere. Just things everywhere. I didn't get a chance to clean it up today. So as always, you want to keep your packaging in your packer sheet because these are reusable age 12 times, sometimes more, but chalk says age 12 uses and it tells you everything on the back. You can use the same transfer with ink and with paste. Now when you get your kit, it comes with paste. But we do sell ink singles that are the same as these paste singles, but they're ink. So if you want to make it on a shirt, kind of like my shirt right here, this is a chalk couture transfer. And I actually have the actual chalk couture design, the same thing on a surface downstairs. So it's super cool. Many, many, many uses out of it. So I'm going to move you guys down so you guys can see what I'm doing. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you um, want to know more about Club of Course, I will be putting that info in the description of this video along with how to get all of these goodies we used for today. So I'm going to write on the back, this is November, oh my goodness, November 23. It would help if that would write Club Couture. That's how I write mine. And then I do top and a dash mark. And I do that so I know how many uses I'm getting out of it. So I want to use, I get as much uses out of it as I can. Now you want to make sure your fuzzy and cloth has nothing on it. You can see obviously this has got a little bit of dried paste. It's okay. It's dried. It's not going to come off. And we are going to start fuzzing. This transfer is super, super awesome because it has a lot of awesome detail to it. But we're going to start with our cute little snowman. 
because I just want to get him chalked first. And he is reusable. So you can scrape him off. You don't like the color that you chose. Or if you want to go really fancy with it and add different colors for different pieces. Like maybe you want to do the bird in, um, you know, in red. And you want to do his hat in black. And, you, you know, you can do all of that. I'm just going to do it in red because I just kind of want to see how it's going to look, to be honest. So that's just kind of how I'm going with it. But this background is super, super awesome. It's a lot like our Santa kit, which comes with a bag. That's an ink kit. The Santa is just as cool. It's got like the music notes behind him. It's very detailed. I've seen it done on a regular surface and I've seen it done on t-shirts. It's super awesome. So this is not gonna need a lot of fuzzing because there's a lot of felt screen here. But we are gonna move our Verity frame for just a minute. This frame is heavy. It is a heavy duty frame. So we're going to stick this on our cute little snowman. And we are going to chalk it. I like to kind of put, I push it down on the surface, but I also like to kind of put it down on my table just so it stays in place and it's not going to move on me. Now, like I said, you can get really fancy with this, guys, because you could tape this off, and you could make the bird, and you could do all of that. But we're just going to do it in one color. Let me grab a small squeegee here. And we're using our En Vogue color cherry. Now, it does come with Current Jam, which is a really pretty color. Um, we're actually going to wash this transfer because I'm noticing we've got music notes and stuff for him, so... I want to get that detail to the surface. So we're going to wash this. I'm going to show you guys how to wash the transfer as well. Here's a little tip for you for this Tuesday. It feels like it should be later than it actually is. It's so dark outside. And it's just been a day today. I've just been running, running, running. You know, when you get into those, oh, I got to go do this and I got to go do that. <laughs> I was like, oh, and I need to chalk, and I need to do other things. But this is so relaxing, so I absolutely love doing it. So I'm going to pull out one of my old fuzzing cloths in just a second. As soon as we pull him off. There is the red. Look how cute and detailed it is. How awesome is that, right? So we're going to stick this right here for right now. We are going to dry this. I'm going to stick magnets on the back. I brought out some of my magnets. So what I do is I take a frame, and I usually use a magnetic frame, and I do my club on that frame every month, and I scrape it off, and then I take these cute little guys, and I stick them over on my shelf. Now, you can paint this if you want to, so maybe you want the snowman to be an off-white. You absolutely can do that. I just thought he'd look really cool, pop against that black background. So that's why I went with the red. And that is nice and dry. I'm going to sit this off to the side for just a second. And I'm going to go grab. Hold on, guys. I'm going to grab an old fuzzing cloth. I have a fuzzing cloth that is dirty, dirty, dirty. So I got to wash it anyway. So I'd rather use that one to show you guys. Now these, don't worry about it. They come clean. They will stain, but they come clean, and you can use them over and over and over. So this is how you wash our transfers. Okay. I'm going to grab out my distilled water, because that's all I have in here, is my spritzer bottle. Now, you can do this under the sink. You're going to grab a board eraser, and you're going to run this through. The side of the board eraser works the best, I have noticed. Now, you can see he's there. But it's all good. So I'm going to flip it back over. It's sticky side up. Okay. Usually I start sticky side up. But I wanted to get the top first. So now. I don't know if you guys can see. You can see right back through that. Right? So now we're going to get this other side. Because there's still a little bit of red. And I just want it kind of cleaned off. I don't want it there. So we're just 
going to go over top. And then I'm going to flip him back over. Now you can see, guys, see how clean that is? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip him back over on this table. Just, I'm just going to put it on the table because my table can get wet. And I'm just going to wash off these last little pieces. Okay. So now it's wet, right? It's going to have to dry. So you're going to want to lay it down, sticky side up, and let it dry. But since we're going to use it again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up this process just a little bit. Now, I am not going to quick dry it, so don't think that that's what I'm going to do because that would be bad. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just use my cloth, and I'm just going to kind of pat it dry just so I can use it again. Now, technically, this would be the second use out of it. And if you feel like it's not sticky anymore and you've only gotten a couple uses out of it, a um, disinfectant wipe will bring that stickiness right back, okay? So we're going to fuzz this. This time, we are going to pull this one down here. We are going to do this whole thing in bright white. The reason why is so that, one, I know where the little snowman goes. And two, it's just easier than having to tape it off. Now, if you don't want to do it like that, you don't have to do it like that. You can tape it off if that's what you want to do. But you're going to do it this way. You just want to make this nice and tight on there. Grab out our bright white. Another small squeegee. Now, I could clean off this other squeegee as well. And I do clean off my squeegees, guys. Um... I'm just trying to grab one out of my container here. Let me grab one from this side. Um, I do. I clean mine. I have a little bucket down here that I stick all of mine in. Then I take, when I'm done, going live for like a week, I take mine and I wash them. I just soak them in dish soap with hot water. They come clean perfectly fine. A little bit of scrubbing, but not too much. So you definitely will get your money's worth out of your squeegees, out of your detail tools, the fuzzing cloths, they can be washed. I just don't use fabric softener on mine because that's actually a little trick that I learned when I was doing vinyl was to not use um, fabric softener on your material when you're going to go like heat put anything heat on it or you know like the vinyl or anything like that they say it sticks better so I just kind of do the same thing with my cloths but I get a couple of them and then I wash them and I let them hang and air dry or put them on low heat in the dryer so I definitely use my tools a lot so once you get a fuzzing cloth you only really need one you don't need multiple. It's just nice to have multiple. So we're to make sure that that self screen is completely covered, and it is. So we're going to sit that over on the side. Grab this up. And there is our little snowman. And we're going to dry this. Now the Verity frame is metal because it is magnetic. So you want to make sure if you're going to put anything on it, like a transfer again on it, that it's nice and dry and back to room temp, okay? Because this will heat up and it will get hot. I'm still going to do that when we go to put the snowman on, only because I don't want him to, I don't want the magnets to adhere or anything like that. It's never happened. So I luck it would. But you guys can see all the details in this. This is so amazing. So amazing. And this is exclusive only to Club. Club is um, an exclusive transfer. You cannot buy it anywhere. It's the most popular transfer every month. Is the tour. And if, let's say, you don't like this one, and you're a Club member, you can gift it. That's a new thing Club has done. 
So if it's something that you're like, hmm, I don't really like that one, you can gift it to somebody else, which is super cool. And you can buy it monthly. You can buy up to, I think it's six months, and then a year worth of club. And it's built immediately, though. It's an FYI. So if you're like, uh, maybe I just want to try it, then you can come back and you can upgrade. Yeah, that's nice and dry. So I just want to make sure this goes back to room temp. So we're going to take our cute little snowman that we already made and we're going to stick some magnets on the back. I love these magnets. I use these magnets all the time. I have them on a box frame downstairs. I do this all the time. So we're actually just going to sit him right down right over top of that other one. Let me lift this up so you guys can see better what I'm doing. And now we have this super cute little pop of color snowman on our Verity frame. How awesome is that, right? The Verity frame is not a cheap frame, but we do have cheaper options like our Aiden and our London. Um, these are just amazing, guys. I absolutely love Club Couture. It is one of my favorites. I get excited every month. Even though I know what's coming, I still get excited. And that pull and reveal is just amazing. But if you have somebody who is a crafter and you want to gift them Club Couture, you absolutely can. That is another thing that you can do. With holidays coming up, maybe you wanted to give it as a Secret Santa type thing or something. You can do that. Um, you just need an email address and where to send it. And this is super cute. I love how it turns out. I will give you guys a cart link on how to get all of this, how to join club. And you guys have a fabulous night. I will see you here tomorrow, hopefully a little bit earlier, um, to do the project for Lots of Love Wednesday. And I will see you all soon. Bye, guys.